fish. Nice fish too. There he is. On the 30 year old dry. Wow. Killer fish, man. Look at him go. There he is. Oh, gosh. Come on. Hey guys, Fly Fish Hunter here. I just wanted to jump in and say thank you so much for 10,000 subscribers. Um, what an awesome experience this has been and I just appreciate the support so much. You guys have been great and I really look forward to bringing you lots more great fly fishing content. I just wanted to make a couple comments on these videos here and a little comment about uh, my channel. Um, I started the channel during COVID when everything was shut down in the spring of 2020 and I was pretty much out of work um, just sitting at home for long days like we all were and watching endless amounts of fishing videos and something in the back of my head just kind of said hey I can do that so I went out and bought a GoPro um, I already had a tripod and um, just went out on the river started fishing and figuring it out so um, it's been a cool journey and I've really enjoyed it and um, thank you so much for all your support. Um, I wanted to make a couple comments on this video right here. Um, this is one of my favorite videos um, that I've done so far. The fish in this video are incredible. They were all super intense. Like look at right here, I am putting the wood to this brown and I can't budge this guy. Um, this this fish was a beast and he was one of several awesome fish i caught that day and you know none of this stuff is staged you know i i had to go underneath that log because he swam underneath the log i had to jump over the log because he's swimming up river at this point um very tough fish to land um missed him for the first attempt right there and he almost swam underneath that log right there. It was just a super intense battle. And when you're filming and trying to catch fish, like every fish counts, right? So you want um, to land all these guys. And I didn't know if it was gonna happen. Um, he came by me again and, oh, just missed him right there. And you know how many times I've lost a fish where they jump out of the net and break you off by swimming between your legs or something? So really lucky right there um, that I that I didn't lose him and then of course I was able to bag him right there which was just awesome but just a great video one of my favorites if you haven't seen it please go back and check it out nice fish Nice fish. There he is. Oh yeah. Big red side. There he is guys. Holy cow, what a fish. Oh, we 
really nice fish right out in the middle. Holy cow. That was worth it. There we go, nice. We have one. Fish, nice, nice, nice. Real, buddy, real. Get a real, 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 real. Hard, 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 hard. Oh, <laughs> nice try. <laughs> nice try. Yeah, but don't go right out there, that's for sure. Fish. Nice. Just got that fly floating. Came up and ate it. It was awesome. Alright guys, you knew I couldn't get through this video without making some comments. This is my first viral video that I've ever done. Um, to date, it's been viewed about 1.4 million times, which is insane. Um, this whole video is insane, and this cliff is insane, and yes, this is all real, and very sketchy and dangerous. And um, You know, I get a lot of comments like, oh, that's not 150 feet, or um, oh, that's no big deal, or oh, that's not a cliff. Well, let's have you back your boat up to this thing and see you launch over the edge. Um, when it's your own equipment and you're there and it's real, not just a video, things get gnarly pretty quick. So um, 
I get nervous every time I do it. It's it's intense, and yes, my boat does take on some damage when I lower it down there, but you know what? I bought my boat as a tool to fish. I didn't buy it to be sitting pretty on a trailer getting pulled in the back of my truck. So I bought it as a tool to get me where I can uh, go and fish where other people can't, and nice. that's how I use it. And um, yeah, it's been it's been great. And the other thing about this video that's cool is it gives a really good picture, I think, for winter steelhead fishing. It's gnarly conditions. It's cold. It's wet. It's rainy. Um, sometimes you're going days without catching a fish, and it's just not for the faint of heart. So um, it's a good picture of that. And you never know what you're going to experience out there. Every day is a new adventure like coming around the corner here and having a tree that fell in the river the night before is now blocking the river. It spans the entire width and there's no way around it. Um, thankfully, I was able to eddy out to the side. John hopped out and he literally picked the thing up and tossed it in the river. And that was just incredible. I just never expected him to, to do that. So. That was awesome. Uh, so this video has been great. It's been fun to see its success and hope you guys enjoy it. <laughs> Okay, moment of truth, I'm going in. I gotta do this. It's so much windier than it was, but maybe. Oh my gosh. That could be the cast right there. Three, two, one. And I got it. That was it. end this video by showing you a few extra pictures from my YouTube profile picture. This is a steelhead that I landed in 2017. One of the best steelhead I've ever landed. Just an amazing fish. 
perfect fins, perfect proportions, just immaculate condition, just a specimen of a fish. And he, he was just amazing, he fought so hard. We had to move the boat twice in order to get to this gravel bar before I could land him and just a thrill for me. And I've, I've had a lot of people ask about that fish on my profile pic, so I thought I'd give you the backstory there. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for 10,000 subscribers. That's amazing. I look forward to bringing you lots more really cool fly fishing content. And until then, we will see you next time out in the water.